Thinking Abstract 2, a plenary presentation, is the NEVO post-op study, or GORTAC 28801, a phase three randomized trial of adjuvant nivolumab added to radiation and chemotherapy in patients with resected head and neck squamous cell carcinoma at high risk of relapse. So the patients that were studied in this trial had locally advanced squamous cell carcinoma of the head and neck, and they were defined as having a high risk of relapse. The standard of care for the past two decades in this population has been adjuvant cisplat and radiation therapy. No changes in the past 20 years for this, this group of patients. The study evaluated the addition of nivolumab to the standard of care chemo and radiation. It was a big international randomized phase three trial, and the types of head and neck cancer included were those of the oral cavity, the oropharynx, the hypopharynx, and the larynx. High risk was determined by nodal extracapsular extension and or positive tumor margins, four or more nodes, or multiple areas of perineural invasion. The primary endpoint of this study was disease-free survival. In the arm uh, that was the standard of care, 66 grays of radiation therapy were given with platinum, and in the arm uh, with the nivolumab added, uh, nivolumab was given, followed by combination radiation and chemo, and then maintenance for an additional six months of nivolumab. Uh, the results, 680 patients were randomized, and three-year disease-free survival was 52.5% for standard of care, going up to 63.1% with the addition of NEVO for a hazard ratio of 0.76, or a 24% decrease in recurrences from adding NEVO. Overall survival is still pending. Grade 4 AEs were increased with the addition of NEVO, 5.6% versus 13.1%. So in conclusion, this will result in a change of practice, which we have not seen for two decades in this group of resectable head and neck cancers. This was a European cooperative group trial, and we need to study immune checkpoint inhibitors in all cancers in the preoperative setting. We've seen major benefits in certain cancer types, and all of the NEVO given in this abstract and this study was in the post-op setting. We need to better define the duration. Do we really need a full year of the immune checkpoint inhibitor? Could we do just as well with less? And we need to better define the patients and the tumors that are benefiting, looking at markers such as PDL1, MSI, DMMR, and others that have previously shown in other settings to predict benefit from the addition of immune checkpoint inhibitors.